This is Living Power with Dan Hurst. And this is so important for us to really pick up on. It's not about leaving it up to other people to do. You know, we, we, <laughs> we hire people to do church work. It's a pretty smart way to do it because then we don't have to do anything. You know, you hire the pastor and the staff, you know, and then you hire uh, other people to assist the staff, and you hire people to do it, to go out and do the church work, right? Isn't that the way it's supposed to be? That's the way we do it. But that's not the way that Jesus suggested that we do it. He suggested you do it. You're the authority because you're under authority. And if you're a believer, as we saw in that passage, if you're one that believes, then those things are things that you are going and that God expects you to do. You're going to confront the evil in the world. You're going to confront the, com the conflicts in the world. You're going to show up and reveal God. That's your job. So in this week to come, you are going to, re you are going to show up you are going to be there, and if you choose to reveal God or not, that's your choice. But God's expecting you to reveal himself. And as you show up in people's lives, people who need to see God, God puts you in those divine appointments so that you can be God. Not that you are God, but that you reveal God. Why will God use you? Well, it's in John 14, 13. Whatever you ask in my name, this will I do, and here it is, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. Our calling is to glorify God. Remember the word glory, from which we get the word glorify. Glory is the revealed presence of God. That's what glory is. The, when you see the word glory in the Bible, you're talking about the revealed presence of God. So, whatever you ask in my name, this will I do, that the Father may be glorified, that the presence of God may be revealed. Now, your job, that's what this is saying. You can't, there's no way you can, other way you can interpret this. Your job is to reveal the presence of God. That's your job. That's what you have to do this week. That is what you have authority and power to do. This week, today, you have authority and power to reveal the presence of God. Make it your goal this week to reveal the presence of God in everything that you do. This is Living Power with Dan Hurst.